Global Conservation Plan. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 234. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 234, September 17, 2017 edition. What One Community is creating and what you see happening in the background right here is a global conservation plan. It is open source and free shared. It is designed to cover all aspects of sustainability, including the physical foundations of sustainability, which everybody's familiar with, food, energy, and housing, as well as the emotional foundations of sustainability, which is what we call highest good education, highest good economic models, fulfilled living models, and true earth stewardship. And possibly, most importantly, it is designed by a 100% volunteer team working and collaborating for what we call the highest good of all with a consciousness for the highest good of all of humanity and all life on this planet, with the idea that we can create a world that truly works for everybody. And we believe that we can do this within our lifetime through a self-replicating model. And this is our global conservation plan, to create self-replicating teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs designed to cooperate and collaborate globally to create more and more open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of highest good living. And to do this, we brought together an all-volunteer team, an amazing all-volunteer team from people all around the world, working together, collaborating, cooperating, to design everything that you see happening in the background here. And now, after seven years of our organization working, collaborating on this, we put in way over 100,000 hours. Our team averages anywhere from 30 to 50 volunteers at a time every week, working on all the things that we're sharing, and we share the highlights and updates just like this, from people volunteering their time. From anywhere from five hours to full-time, like myself, 30 to 40 hours every single week, week in and week out. And if you do the math on that, if you figure even at the lowest number, Figure 30 people working five hours, that's 150 hours a week that's going into open source creation, plus my time. So figure a minimum of 200 hours a week, anywhere up to three or 400 hours a week that are going into this project and working towards creating a world that works for everybody. Designing the seven sustainable village models, designing the open source and free shared food forest plans, open source botanical garden plans, open source food self-sufficiency and sustainability plans, including uh, composting and gray water recycling and rainwater catchment, and a complete open source education program that covers all ages and all educational levels for any educational environment, plus the social architecture, the fulfilled living plans, the high good economic models, which are ecotourism models designed around an open source foundation of sharing everything that we do and purpose to share one community as a place that people can visit and experience. And if, hey, if they see anything that they like, if they enjoy the entire environment, it's designed to help them to replicate it anywhere in the world. And so this is what we're all about. This is our idea of creating a global conservation plan. And we've put the call out. We started putting the call out seven years ago globally with our first website. And people answered the call. People showed up from all over the world to help. For a variety of different reasons. Some showed up because they just want to help for humanitarian reasons or philanthropic reasons. Some people showed up just because they saw what was happening in the world and they wanted to make a difference and, and for personal enrichment reasons. Many showed up because they were students graduating, because they wanted to add, uh, add this work to their resume. We've helped lots of people get jobs within their careers or further their careers or gain experience they hadn't had uh, that they couldn't get elsewhere. Uh, and people have contributed for a variety of different reasons and continue to contribute for a variety of different reasons. And we're just at the beginning of what that really means. And by the beginning, I mean, we've put in seven years of work on this project, creating this global conservation plan. And we've created amazing things, as you can see. But it's just the tip of the iceberg. Once one community is built, 
and we can host people for internships and work study programs and we can host people just to come and visit and experience what it is initially hundreds of people then thousands of people and ultimately tens of thousands of people and then hundreds of thousands of people we will expose people to a way of living that most have only have never even imagined or possibly experienced a taste of when they go on vacation and we will show them that this way of living is accessible to anybody and it's built on sustainability it's built on self-sufficiency it's built on freedom it's built on the idea that we should have more free time and more things to do with that free time and that it makes sense to have those things within walking distance and it makes sense to create a global cooperation and collaboration of organizations doing this so people who want to travel and experience different places in the world will have a place to go and do that and to share their gifts in that new environment. And for people that want to make a difference in the world, we'll have a way to do that easily in cooperation, collaboration with an organization like ours, not just as a short-term endeavor, but as a way of life. And for people that just want a sustainable way of living that reduces their overhead, provides more free time and more things to do with that free time in beautiful locations around the world, and also is low impact and provides positively for the planet and for their surrounding community, one community provides that as well. This is what we're doing. And we have inspired and cooperated and collaborated with now well over 300 volunteers to get us to where we are right now. We've had people contact us from around the world that are using our information, developing their own projects. And as I've already said, it is just the beginning. Truly just the beginning. So this is what one community is up to. And with that said, as an all-volunteer, non-profit, non-governmental organization working towards positive and permanent world change for the highest good of all humanity and all life on this planet, here is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards the goal of developing an open source and free shared global conservation plan that includes all aspects of sustainability and is a path to not just a sustainable civilization, but a sustainable planet where everybody can participate in the way that works best for them. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, continued SketchUp design for the open source outdoor areas of the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6. We finalized eight new renders of the outdoor art and library areas and added the images to the site. Here are the images showing several different perspectives for each of these two areas that function as outdoor extensions of the indoor spaces purposed for the same use. The core team also continued working on the complete Treehouse Village Pod 7 Village Render, which is now approximately 80% complete, as shown here. Jagannathan Shankar Mahadevan, mechanical engineer, joined the team and completed his first week familiarizing himself with Strawbill Village and researching the details needed to complete a total village cost analysis. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, finished his 55th week helping with the compressed earth block village design and render details. This week's focus was finishing the final kitchen render looking north, as shown here, and now live on the website too. Aparna Tandon, architect, continued her work on the compressed earth block village external elements. What you see here is her 33rd week of work focusing on the final presentation shown here and live on the site for the central area between the north and south residential wings. Samantha Robinson, 3D designer, completed her seventh week working on the interior design for the living structure of the Treehouse Village. This week's focus, as shown here, was revisions for the drawers under the bed, adjustments to the floor plan, and working on the stairway railing details. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. Falgun Patil, mechanical engineer, 
completed his third week continuing to review, run calculations, and update the specifics of the remote energy setup plan so we can update the highest good energy page. You can see some of this last week's work here. Dipti Dondaker, electrical engineer, continued with her 50th week of work on the lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was continuing to model the dining dome in preparation for applying and testing the best of the lighting designs from the social dome. Hannon Dantes, mechanical engineer, continued with his 19th week working on the Duplical City Center AutoCAD updates. This week's focus was reviewing the complete window and door plan to simplify and improve it. Erevin Basudovin, mechanical engineer, continued his calculations and research for climate battery component of the city center heating and cooling open source hub. You can see here his fan use break-even cost analysis and some of his hand calculations related to this. Bomzi Palergertha, mechanical engineer, also continued work on the thermal lag research and reports for the city center heating and cooling open source hub. What you see here is Vomsi's work comparing how heat transfers from the basement and boiler room to the outside when built in ground versus above ground. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued editing the food pages. We researched details for our food needs to review the details for the Food Self-Sufficiency Transition Plan and found 38 resources for checking calculations on the Sustainable Food Nutrition Calculations page, as you can see here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team working with Sungum Stanzak, PhD and PE, added a what and why section, updated formatting, and new table of contents to the Teaching Strategies for Life page. This completes this page's update to the newest formatting we're using for all the other pages of the site. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team invested several more hours developing the graphics showing where all our collaborators and volunteers are from. The focus was adding three more volunteers into their respective locations in the master layer for the video map, and creating and adding an enhanced web version to the team page. The core team also continued working on proofreading and updating the formatting for the taxes page. We checked for errors in spelling, punctuation, image placement, and functionality, and checked all of the approximate 300 different hyperlinks. We also created the beginnings of a new and standalone state-by-state -state resource page for the U.S. Departments of Taxation, which will be a useful page that anyone can find via a Google search. The core team also continued reviewing the Highest Good Society search engine version 2.0 details, checking links, formatting, titles, and other details so Ashwin Patil, web developer, can continue the process of finishing this amazing tool. You can see some of this work in progress here, and we'd say this search engine is now 70% complete. In addition to this, Priti Kotari, information technology enthusiast, also completed her fifth week helping with the Highest Good Network software. This week's focus was researching, testing, and debugging the D3 software we'll be using to create the leaderboard charts of everyone's hours. You can see some of this work here. There you have it. That is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards an open source and free shared global conservation plan capable of transforming our entire planet to a sustainable world that truly works for everyone. We can address the challenges of our entire planet with a self-replicating model like this. And if you want to understand more details about that, more specifics, also see links to all the open source content, everything that is that we talked about in this video and so much more, visit our website or visit our blog. 
If you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list or subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us through any of the social media networks. We're pretty much on all of the social media networks, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Tumblr, Reddit, and about 15 other social media networks. Visit us wherever uh, you prefer to engage with social media, you will find us there and you can access all of those through our website. Uh, and also, of course, thank you. Thank you for watching to the end. Thank you for the emails that we get. Thank you for the likes that we get. The easiest way to support our project is by sharing or liking this video or any of our website pages or any of the content that we put out. So thank you for everybody that does that. Thank you for watching to the end. Thank you for the donations. None of us are paid for what it is that we're doing. I'm not paid for this and neither are any of our volunteers. So 100% of the donations that we get goes to forwarding our open source mission, helping to create this global conservation plan, and doing everything that it is that one community is doing, keeping our website running, and all those details. So thanks for the donations that we get. It really does make a difference. And of course, uh, thanks for the emails that I get that come to all, every email that comes to one community uh, at this point in time. I read it. I see all of those emails, and in almost all cases, I'm the person who responds to them. So thanks for all the input that we get that helps make our project better, improves everything, and uh, until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.